my gangsters! Yo guys, what's up? It's Dave, the Open Source Gangster here. So, with solid state drives becoming more and more popular, many people are trying to limit the amount of space applications and games take up on them. Now, if you're a PC gamer, you probably use Steam. While Steam is a great source to get all your gaming content, when you install games, it's nearly impossible to move them outside your C drive without having to reinstall everything. But, with a little trick called symlinking, what we can do is we can create a shortcut to the Steam game to another folder where the game is actually located. It's really neat and a cool thing to do. So, let's get this started. Alright, so symlinks are basically shortcuts. So, for example, in my C drive I have a folder called Test. Now this folder has a shortcut icon on it, showing that the files are actually located elsewhere. In this case, they're actually located on my D drive, but it's just linked to my C drive. Now let's create our first sim link. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my Steam game Mountain Blade to my D drive to save space on my SSD. So what you want to do first is copy or cut and paste your Steam game to the destination you want it to be. In this case, I want to be on my D drive, so I'm going to cut and paste it here. Now, in order to make the sim link, we need to use command prompt. So go to your start and go to run CMD and your command prompt window should open up. Now here's what you have to type in. Type in mk link forward slash j. Now what you want to do in quotations, you want to put in the steam game that you want to create a shortcut for. And uh, you want to put in a whole destination too. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go here and copy the address, paste it. Oh, we actually want to right click, paste. And then backslash and I'm going to go and make sure I get the folder name exactly the way it's typed out on here just so Steam knows the right location to look for the folder just so the locations aren't changed up and doesn't create a huge issue and I keep doing that paste end quote space another quote now what we can do is type in where the folders where their files are actually at so in this case, the files are actually on my D drive. So I'm going to go back to my D drive, copy and paste this location, paste, end quotes, and hit enter. And if all goes well, it should say junction created. All right, and to confirm that our junction worked, what we can do is we can go back to our C folder and we should see that same shortcut that I showed you earlier on our, Mount, our Mountain Blade Warband game or whatever game that you chose to do. Alright, so for those of you who don't like dealing with command prompt and typing all that stuff in, I have created a little GUI program which will pretty much do the whole thing I just showed you in a, like two steps. So you still want to transfer the files like before, but after you transfer your files or folders wherever you're transferring, in your shortcut folder, you want to type in the name of the Steam game that you tend to create a shortcut for. And my actual file location, I'm going to take it once again from my D drive. and. And then I'm gonna hit make links and set success. Then we can check back into the app. And once again, bam, there's our shortcut and it'll work just as easily as before. So this is just another way of doing it if you don't like dealing with command prompt. All right guys, this has been how to transfer Steam games to our drive using Sim links. And remember, this can work for any program and it's just not limited to Steam. Thanks for watching and tune in for another galvanizing video. Thanks.